Robinson with the rebound to Rico Pickett. They have a four on one. Hollinger back up to Pickett. Here we go! Just a dunk one handed slam. Kevin out of the building, taking it down, scoring now Alabama. That town legend. Yeah. Put the cash in the bag so I know it's true. Hit the gas, hit the gas, open up the roof. I'm the same dude in it. Man, so we back. We back where, where it all started, yeah. man. How you yeah. feel? I feel wonderful, bro. I oh. appreciate y'all coming out here. Ah, you know we had to do that. So right. which, which goal was it that you were sitting on? It was this one, actually. This far one right here. That one was lower, but it's the best one to do. So Just to capture that S's in the back of yeah. Yeah. the cable. So you 17 and you just flexing like that. That's how you felt mm -hmm. at that time. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing that you probably was thinking like the lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking one and done. Spin eight months one and in done. Tuscaloosa. Yeah. It's like, why did he go to you? Yeah. So and, that, and that's what that's what the people want to know. The people want to know. The people that actually know who. Not right, not right, the, right, right. You right, know, we got right. levels of people. Right, you know, but right. the people that really know who was like, why did why did Rico go to the youth club? Uh, uh, to be honest, the God and the truth is. At that time, I feel like we still was about to leave. You know, he was on the tear. You gotta, you gotta to put us up to speed on who Ron Steele is. Okay, well, the Ron, viewers okay, may not know. Okay, well, for people who don't know, Ron Steele was the best point guard in America for about two years. 05, 06, running through college. Yep. Went to the Elite Eight, got hurt. The year I was came it in, it was, was his knee. Okay. The year I came in is when he sat out the year. So yeah. I'm thinking, hometown hero, number one player in the state, top 10 point guard, top 50 player, why not do it at home? Yeah. Yes, that makes yeah, sense. That's, that's what I was thinking at the time. Yeah, that makes sense. I know I was looking at it because I was in Kentucky at the time, and they actually had you on the, uh, the recruiting board. So right. I was like, hmm, <laughs> is Mook really this good? <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Like, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I remember like really looking at it like, is he really turning like this? Like, yeah, yeah. so so when I saw the Bama decision, for me, it, it kind of threw me off a little bit because I thought, I didn't look at Alabama as a basketball school. Right. And I, I wasn't looking at it from your perspective of taking over, you know, I guess doing it for the city, doing it for the state. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. I was thinking like, hey, Rico trying to get to the NBA, Rico going to UConn. That's right. how I saw it. Right, right. At that time, but at that time, I also felt like, and given the ears and what I was being told from the Sonny Vaqueros and, mm. you know what I'm saying, the Mark Camaros, is, hey, go spend eight months in Tuscaloosa, keep your nose clean, and you out of it. Sonny yeah. had me on this plan, man. Yeah. I'm going to shop you. I'm going to shop you. I'm going to send you to the top camps. You're going to play in the best tournament. <clears throat> You gonna play against the best competition. I'm gonna put you in a position to succeed. Right. And he did. You got the, the, the call from Swell. How that how that happen? I, I was at ABCD camp the game before we played OJ Mayo. By the way, they, I still say they cheat. Their team's too stable. Who are they OJ Mayo, James Harden, mm. DeAndre Jordan, Bill Walker, and Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> I was just warming up and the guy pulled me over to the side. And he was like, uh, my name is such and such, I forget his name. And he was like, um, how would you do, how would you feel about doing a slam piece? And I'm like, slam what? Right. He's like, slam magazine. I'm like, nah, you playing. Yeah. I got a game, you, you tripping right now. You're playing, yeah. literally. Yeah. So he was like, nah, I'm one of the editors and one of the writers. I want to do a piece on you. I'm coming about February to your school. And the college with your coach to make sure everything's straight. So I still didn't believe it. So one day we was in practice, and we was doing suicides, they pulled up and on they pulled up on yeah. us and all of the yeah. equipment, and we was in the small gym, and that's how that happened, bro. And, and, and it really happened because I led and assisted in the whole camp in the city. Yeah. I was 7-6. And see, that, that so, camp really put you on a different level. Too. Oh, yeah. It gave you that promo, that, that mass media promo that you just can't get. I tell these kids all the time, you got to do something. You got to go to the ABC. You need to go. So, it's more than high school. Yeah, you, oh my You God. gotta play AU. People try to downplay AU now, but AU is a beautiful game, yeah, bro. You gotta like, play AU. And that's where you find out where you at, too. Right. You try to give me a chance to get out of here. I want to do it, but my father won't let me. Yeah. But my dad broke it down to me, too. Hey, same thing you gonna go over there, you can do it. Why not put your city on the map? Yeah. So that's where all of that came from. Like, I could have went. Yeah. But, 
it's, yeah, I think it's times when it, when it's when it's players that are big, when players are really like they got like that larger than life persona that right. they need to go. Yeah, they just need yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah, it just is what it is. Whether they get a guardian at a different stage or right. whether one parent go with them, like if I got a kid, he gotta go. Yeah, yeah, you I know, feel the same go. way. You gotta yeah. go. You I gotta feel the go. same way with our course. You gotta because go. Because you gotta be in that energy, that vibe. Yeah. That, that's the, that that type of stuff around you makes you different. And it, it builds prepares. you for later on. Exactly. Yeah, for later you on. Know. I want to do it for him. Right. Plus, I want to play with Big Rich and He was the best power forward in college to me. You he know was what I'm definitely saying? Yeah. the best power forward in the state. And Alonzo For G. sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, at that time, I feel like. They gonna give me the ball, and we're talking to Chris up too. They didn't give me that spot. I earned that spot. Yeah. Okay. Like, no. So you go to Alabama. Right. Do you get the um, outcome that you wanted, or how you feel about that? From a you really looking back on it now? What nine? Now it's nine years from Alabama. Nine years from Alabama. As a person, yes. As a player, no. What happened as a player? As a player. It was hard for me to find my way coming from how I was playing at Decatur. I just like any senior would yeah. be transferring into a, a big division one. Right. But I had to find myself and not only that, <clears throat> truthfully speaking, forget it now, he wouldn't let me play how, how I needed to play. And I'm not saying I was uncoachable. I wasn't saying that I wasn't for the system. Right. There would be times where I hit a three and I come to the side and he said, hey, don't shoot me. Right, so it, it kind of like broke it, your it, confidence. It, 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 he killed my confidence. Okay, he killed it because you okay one game you get a double double, and the next game you don't play one minute. Right, right. And after the game, I come to you as a man and ask you, hey coach, what did I do wrong? What can I do better to play? Can you tell me to go get on the bus? Mm. And you I ain't never to told nobody that. You was actually a, you was a casualty of war. Doctor was trying to find himself in Alabama, in my perspective. Yeah, I was a casualty, and I you wasn't know. the only one. Yeah. We had the highest rate of transfers that year in college basketball. Yeah. It wasn't just me. Right. I was just the one highlighted out of here. Yeah. That's not a good fit at Alabama, so right. you decide to go to junior college. This is one of the hardest decisions in my life. Go to Miami with the shots. Shout out to Overtown and Nova Locker, yeah, yeah. I be with the Asians in the Haiti. We go to Miami, and we know about Miami. Miami is yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Miami is beautiful, but just like you know, junior college is junior college. You struggling. Yeah, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. It's I don't care struggle. where you go. You struggling every time. So I mean, it's a struggle. And but it was, that was a hard transition too because that team kind of just fell in my coach's lap. My coach is 27. I'm 19. We got the number one player in June, because Will Cole was going to the tournament. Yep. Big boy. Yep. Darnell Dotson came from Pitt. He ended up going to Kentucky, Kentucky. playing on that John Wall team. So how did that whole thing change everything as far as like you going to JUCO, you being, you basically started no, Basically. It was my second senior year of high school. That's how I looked at it. It, it was just like, it was recruiting all, it was recruiting on the whole number. And then personally, some things happened too in your life, right? Did you have your first one? I had my first child towards the end. Okay. Towards the end, and then I was going through a rough time with who's my wife now. The living situations and things happened. Because you, you know just what I'm a saying? kid. I, I, too, I'm just a kid, you know? but I had to become a man at the same what? time. What? It was a lot going on, yeah. but at the same time, basketball was my escape too. Yeah. At that time, but the recruitment, it was just so crazy, bro. Like, I'm talking. Uh, Coach Linda Hamilton flying in, he can't get in trouble now. Flying <laughs> in at uh, midnight on the line in yeah. the helicopter. I'm got to walk from my dorm to the school to meet him. Yeah. Uh, I got in trouble with my boy Bruce Pearl. Coach Calhoun was, I fell in love with him. It was, it was, it wasn't. Once I got that UConn offer again, man, it was just like, all right. I'm committed to UConn for four months. You committed? For four, four months. months. I got a call this morning. So who's there right now? Bo Wright, Napier, who's there? No, Bo Wright ain't there. Nah, they ain't there yet. It's just Kimba and uh, Dyson. Kimba, so Dyson, and Sticks. Okay. Uh, Stanley Robinson. Stanley Robinson. So, a freak of nature. A freak by of the way. nature. So I'm committed for four months. I wake up one morning, I get a call, I come to the school. I come to the school, one of the sisters there. They tell me that um, I forgot my man's name. I ended up playing on the USA team with him. He's from uh, Nate Miles. Okay. Was at UConn. Uh, failed a drug test, got kicked off, told ESPN that he got paid by UConn, so they lost the scholarship that was for me. Ooh, I remember that. You feel what I'm saying? So at that time, everything was closing up. I waited to the last week possible. 
Yeah. Everything is closing up. I tried to go to Florida State. Somebody uh, academically messed up, so they scouts got to Tennessee. Bruce Pearl got in trouble. So Manhattan come by Sonny. Sonny was best friends with my coach Barry Ross. Right, and from Sonny from he from up there, right? He's from he's up from there. The Barry Ross okay. was a UK uh, recruiting coach last year. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. So boom, he told me to go up there. Same scenario. Eight months, keep your nose clean. You in the league, just like that. So you feel like you kept your nose clean while you were there? I did, but at the same time we was losing. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. We was one game away from making it to the NCAA tournament. We got beat in our conference tennis. And what, what, what conference is Manhattan in? MAC, M-A-A-C. Okay, M-A-A-C. Yeah, with what, Iona what your and Niagara. What were your numbers? 25. There? 25? 25 or 25? No, 25. 25 conference, game? conference 25 game. Okay. Just regular 21. Okay. So now we, we what? We probably about four, five years ago. So yeah, now we at the point years where you actually declared for the NBA. Yeah, I did. But my, why you didn't go to here? You had one more year. I had one more year. My coach got fired, and I signed with an agent, which was one of the big mistakes in my life. Right. Signed with well, agent you, too can, early. You, you know what, though? You didn't grow up. You a man about it. Yeah. You kept it, you kept it real. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I realized my mistakes now. I did that, and uh, parts came back. No, I wasn't going to get drafted. It's either late second round or not at all. So I said, I'll go overseas. Right. Put my name in the D-League hat, got drafted from the D-League. Right. Went to the D-League, um, spring training, all of that. Went, just so happened, some stuff happened with my wife in Miami. She needed somewhere to stay. Yeah. So I had to become a man and just drop everything I had to do. She had no help, so I went and did that. That's neither here nor there. Right. But I left the team, is what I'm saying, because of that. Right. So then after that, I go to Russia. That's my first stop overseas. How did work? I played the first. 10 games, they sent me home. I was 15 and 10, literally. I had a translator, I asked him why. Yeah. The dude told me, you playing in front of the coach's son. Uh, yeah, literally. So that was my first taste of overseas. Like, So from there, I go to Russia, I uh, I go to Paris, I go to the Republic, I so go to... Uh, you, I know you bounce around a lot of yeah. them, so now we basically 10 years back. Do you feel like Deal. I know locally your legacy is cemented. Home by straight. See, I ain't been right. right as far as my home life. Right. Now I'm married, settled down, got my kids. Now I can do what I need to do. So the, now, and I'ma just keep it real. This is not enough. For me. I, right. It's the league or nothing. Right. I didn't did everything up under there. All is cool. All accolades. All is cool. But I ain't never touched the league. Right. So. So why don't you? You know the um the D League. They're gonna be doing a pay raise. Yeah, CBA too. They, they basically paying people like they doctors in a, in a sense. Yeah. 75, 80,000. I'm in the worst of Mark Amir right now. My, I'm, I'm campaigning, I'm just starting back up January. Yeah, you gotta do that because yeah, you wanna yeah. you wanna lead a game on a hot night. At the gambling spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just hit my number at the gambling spot. I, just hit it, I, just I spent the whole summer at the gambling spot. Yeah, yeah. It's some young niggas with the shit. At the gambling spot, that's why they got the stick. At the gambling spot, got it, got it. I just hit my number at the gambling spot. I just hit it, hit it. I spent the whole.